Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very refreshing summer fruits juice drink. I think that is raspberry, apple and I believe cherry? Either way, it's quite tasty indeed. So in a previous video of Airships, we were once again designing and fighting and specifically making a building. And if we go to open design, we have what was once the SP Foxglove. However, a lot of people did say it's actually more fitting to call it the bamboo because it's straight and tall and quite thin. I thought, yeah, that's actually quite decent. I don't want to get into the habit of renaming things, even if there's something a bit better but that did seem to be a uh, quite a nice touch so i thought yeah we'll run with that either way in this video we're not going to be building a building or a land ship but we're going to take a look at an airship and specifically i want to base this airship or maybe multiple airships around the rockets and i confess that this idea came from uh, a gif I saw from the developer's uh, Twitter page where they had like a big rocket barrage thing and I thought that's something we haven't done in a while and I like the idea of doing a bit of a rocket spam. Now I also wanted to make a mini ship so very small very cheap and pretty much unarmored and the whole point is just to spam loads of these and have like say a big sort of rocket spam so we could do that. The other approach would be to go to open design going down to these vessels here and specifically the bumblebee and it would be very very easy to retrofit this thing in fact if i do that and then put the rockets on we now have a retrofitted <laughs> a retrofitted um ship it does say it requires some more crew so maybe we can go ahead and do that it says crew 30 uh, crew's 27 recommended is 35 so we should probably put some more crew in it. We can very easily do that by going to our command and crew and then to a berth. And we'll place the berths probably in the middle. One, two, three, four I think would be sufficient. And that would take us actually a little bit further than we need to go. So we'll probably do something like that. And there we go. There is our crew. Compliment. It is fine. We are on 36 crew of a recommended 35. We have probably the same speed and service ceiling as the other one. And in terms of cost, 1,416. But open design and check out this thing here. It is, or at least was, 1,226. So it's a little bit more expensive but it does have these rockets here so what are we going to name it obviously we're naming it after things that fly so we've got the bluebird the bumblebee goldfinch greenfinch heron herring gull honeybee sparrowhawk and woodpecker i think we're going to call it i don't know why the um let's go with the owl because why not uh save design and save again not being too precious on the names to be honest but let's just go over combat and try this thing out so we'll go to add an airship and we're going to put the owl in there and it's actually got quite a high service ceiling which is not not a good thing really because these rockets have got a really good arc of fire so actually having a quite low service ceiling is fine uh we're going to Put it up against another airship about the same cost the vanguard is about the same cost actually oh in fact it would be pretty much unfair to do that but um well you know what we're never being accused of being fair so let's go ahead and go forward and as you can see the thing about rockets is that they are not entirely that accurate and what i say by that accurate is that they are garbage in terms of accuracy <laughs> but what they are good at is peppering the enemy at close range and doing a not very not a great amount of damage. Come on, turn around, please. There we go. And, oh, yes. Uh, the thing is, once they're hit, they will do uh, quite a nice bit of damage there. They do a lot of splash damage. But when, when things are moving, it can be a bit of a problem. And you can see this thing is trying to maneuver away from us. But I guess the service ceiling in this particular case has helped us out. Because they're unable to fire. This is totally an unfair fight, I should point out. Even though point for point, it's about the same. We have all of the advantages we have the height advantage we have <laughs> probably the uh oh yeah we've just about taken out yeah we have the height advantage we have um the advantage in terms of what we're firing at because of their armor their armor is such that we do i think it, i think that's got decent i think it's the wood i think wood armor is it's not great for splash damage or is that great for pacing? I actually might be getting it the wrong way around. Either way, this is almost certainly a win. I might have messed up here, actually. I've uh, I've engaged this thing uh, 
when I shouldn't have done, but the good thing about this, oh dearie me, yeah, there you go, there's a bit of a problem. The good thing about this is that it's got a minimum range, uh, the, the torpedoes, but we only just managed to win that because we lost the back end there. We'll go to combat again and we'll try this out, so we're going to go to our building and should we put the bamboo against it well let's put the bamboo against it because why not and we will make it a sort of fair fight by putting it actually let's turn it around so it can actually shoot us uh, and we'll put our airship in there the thing is that we'll put it right at the back so it is a bit more of a fair fight and then obviously we're going to say move and then go to there the thing with this is that well it's got it's got wooden armor and it's got a lot of rifles, which will probably do a number on this thing. And as you can see, all of the rockets come in. This is this is actually pretty much like the GIF I saw, where it was in the dark, and all you saw is loads of rockets coming in, and you've got all the like streaming effects from the back of the rockets and such, like the engines and all the particles. That looks really nice. Uh, I'm not too convinced that we're going to be able to defeat this, but we shall do what we can. I'm actually going to go right behind it and park about here, and even then we'll probably still be shot at, so <laughs> by some things anyway, because of its height. You can see we are hitting now and again, and I do stress now and again. We're going to go to aim fire as well, because, well, we do need to preserve ammo. 246 out of 300 is what we're currently on. We are now going behind it and then we're going to bring ourselves down and hopefully it doesn't try to crash into the back are we just going to miss it yes we just missed it there and now some of these rifles will cease but some of them will keep firing and it's just the nature of the beast the best place to be is about the middle and in fact if we go further forward that will probably reduce oh no actually further back would be would be the best cost of action i think if i go back we should be able to yeah, less will be oh, less will fire against us, but we are actually uh, repelling off the back there, so that's a bit of a problem. What's also a bit of a problem is the sheer amount of fire on board, and we have lost, we have lost, well, seems to be one, two of the rockets, and moreover, we've also lost all propulsion. I think that's because most of the crew are going to put fires out, but we are certainly burning down now. I don't know if we actually have any pathing. I don't know if we have any pathing. I don't know if these guys can go there. The thing about rockets is that they are easily... Oh, yeah, we've actually run out of water. I think I don't think we have any pathing around there. Either way, that's a loss for us. Okay, we shall... Oh, we're finally moving back, which is, well, a thing. Looks like the bamboo is on fire. We've taken out a couple of weapons, but nothing great. Okay, so that is a loss. We'll leave that, and we'll have one more fight. So combat, we'll go to airship and bring in the owl, and we're going to put that up there. And then we will have... What should we have? Uh, maybe a land ship. We have the tiger, which is... Oh, the boar. No, that's a boar's a ramming thing. That would be just totally unfair. The llama and the elk. Love the elk. Great vessel. Um, that, I think, would be reasonable, the tiger. Let's put the tiger against it, and we'll start the fight. I'm going to bring this down, because, quite frankly, I don't want to be dealing with the flak that it is currently launching at me. So, bringing this down and actually treating this like a bit of a land ship is better for us, because we're only going to be in arc of the three cannons plus the turret on the top, as opposed to the flak there. But I'm guessing what this is going to do is either try to ram me or get so close that the flak guns will be able to fire. So I'm going to keep reversing now that it's getting a little bit closer there. And you can see all of these shots uh, going in. We have caused some amount of damage, not a great amount, but enough to... Oh, just chipped a little bit of a tree off there. Enough to say that we are actually hitting, which is pretty good. We'll go to aim fire, see if that will will alter things. Uh, this is the HV tank, it says there. <laughs> anyway, we are we are weathering their shots while simultaneously firing back at them. I'm just going to have to back up here. It's all about the manoeuvring at this stage to try and stay out of that arc of fire for that flak. Because if it gets too close, I think it's a 45 degree arc of fire. So it'll very easily be able to shoot at our top bit there and just pulling back a little bit there's some actually good hits there and we got damage out but the problem is we're not taking any modules out we're not destroying any modules so we're just gonna have to keep trying here we're on to about about half of our ammo actually we're about a third there so i'm gonna put it on to standard firing and sadly we don't really have many more places to back up to now so <laughs> uh, they have now lost all of their front mounted weapons so their three cannons are gone they still got the two flat cannons on the top plus the turret but they've also lost one of their tracks so they're now 
very much limited in their maneuverability. And they're actually backing up of all things. They're probably going to try and sort of guesstimate that, you know, they can long ranges with that gun. I'm not convinced. I think we can go to aim fire. And because of the damage we've caused, we should be able to destroy this. This is a little bit underpointed, I believe. 1,200, if I uh, remember rightly. Or even if it was the same, it's still a decent fight. So this thing, the owl, yeah, limited sample set, I admit. But, yeah, we have actually retrofitted one of the other vessels, which we've done in the past. So, pretty good there. All right. Um, do we want to... Do you want to try a smaller a smaller vessel? Let's go over to Airship Editor and checking out the... Well, let's go the, for the... We want the cheapest bare minimum vessel. So, propulsion. We probably want a sail. Maybe. Or a top sail. That's even cheaper. We'll go with a top sail. We will go with a... Is it the cheapest? Yes, it is the cheapest. We want some lift. So the lift, the cheapest lift that we can get are the suspendium dust tanks. So we'll put one of those on there. And oh, you've also got the dust uh, dust tank with ladder as well. This is 177 meters service ceiling at the moment. We want some weapons. So weapons and then to the rockets. This is, as I said, going to be a completely spam build. We don't care about longevity on this thing. We have no desire to really do anything other than basically get these rockets on the field and just charge forward. We don't care about service ceiling or anything like that. So we have propulsion. We have no ammo. Ammo will be extremely limited. I'm not going to use an ammo store. I don't think anywhere. Do I want an ammo store? That's 52. I could just go with a standard small ammo store. Let's put a small ammo store in. We'll put it in the middle. Why not? Minimum crew is seven. I will use a quarters like that. And this can be brought down to, say, here. That sail can be put on the top there. In fact, I could probably go... If I bring this down a little bit, there, there, and then there. That still fits in nicely. We need supply hatches, and I can't give any commands to the ship. So we need a cockpit, which I will put in there. And then we need, what do we need? Uh, armor, we'll go for wood wall, fill. Uh, <laughs> do we really want to do that? Um, for the cost, we might stick with... With that. Anyway, resources would be the wooden supply hatch. There we go. And that is pretty much it. Could we make it so it's a little bit more unique in its design? Yes, we probably could. Let me try and do that now. Um, maybe something like that would be a little bit better. Mm, I'm not really too sure that would be the way forward. See, I can't really do that. I can do that. No, I think I think having the ammo more central was probably the way forward. So put that there. Put that back there. Basically put it back to how it was, pretty much. Like that. There you go. And then we will treat ourselves. And it is a very, it is a treat to some to some shapes. So one of those. And one of those. There we go. And that is our vessel. It's called the Stort. Um, we'll have it the SP. It's a small thing. We'll call it the Wasp. And save design. And save. So three rockets. 270 cost. It's not the cheapest thing we could have possibly made. Crew 12 recommended 14. Would have been better if we can cheap it out a bit. Is there anything we can do to cheap it out a bit? Let's have a look. So, I'm going to go through the list. Command and crew. Cheapest tick. Cockpit. Um, crew. Quarters. Cheapest. No. Probably the best for what we need. Yes, I think so. Lift. Cheapest is 15. We could go to 12. We could remove that and put a end cap on instead. Service ceiling of 2 meters. <laughs> Not ideal. If I remove these, though, we can get it to 8 metres. No, it's not worth it. So undo, 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 and there you go. So yes, we could cheapen out a bit, but 31 metres is, <laughs> even at this stage, a bit uh, strange. We've got a top sale of 10. 
which is sadly weighs a lot i think it weighs 60 if we had say like one of these oh 120 what about the sale oh it's actually quite cheap then it's it, uh, quite quite um no oh, we're 25 for the propeller ah if we have the propeller though it'll be lighter but we'll then need coal yeah so it's actually all right wooden supply hatch cheap as we like ammo cheap as we like Weapons, three of rockets. We've got no boarding defense. We have got some shapes on there, and we've spent how much on shapes? 17. 20, 22 on shapes, I think. <sighs> Definitely cheapen it out if we remove the shapes. I think we're going to treat ourselves as it's a little treat, a little treat now and again. Wooden armor is a bit of a treat, too. We could go for wooden wall. That'll take it to 224. Difference is at we're 24. That's a higher service ceiling then. And weight one, absorb two piercing damage. Wooden armor is four piercing, so double, and it gives us two blast damage. Also, HP is improved. I am going to go with the cheap one. I do think that actually cheaping it out like that is worth it. And I'm very tempted as well. If I remove those, if we are simply going for the cheaps possible, 212. <laughs> 212. Do I want to do that? I really do. I do. As much as, as much as I like the shape of it instead, I think that I think that is just better. Making it cheap as possible. We've saved nearly seventy by taking off the armor and taking off the shapes. Actually, it might have been more than seventy. Uh, I don't know about that. Either way, there's the wasp. Save design. Save. Overwrite. Leave. Combat. Let's try it. So, we're going to verse an airship. We are going to put in... Not one of ours. We're going to just go for... That one. There you go. That's a reasonable thing, surely. Mid-ground. Lots of cannons. 2,852. Airship. The wasp. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're a little bit underpointed, but start the fight. <laughs> There's all the rockets going out. So we actually have a decent speed. Oh, look at them all slot together, like a, like Tetris pieces. <laughs> we can't give commands very well, but I'm not really too bothered. Turn around and launch it, launch it. <laughs> Full send. Airships mend. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I like these already. They might be useless, but these are cool. <laughs> They're actually doing an unbelievable amount of damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're running out of ammo, though. They're running out of ammo. What are we on? Let's have a quick look. Oh, good grief. I've only got 24 ammo. I mean... It was a shock tactic approach we wanted. Certainly achieved that. Oh, they've all rammed into each other. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> we might lose this simply because of running out of ammo. Aimfire. Go on, aimfire. Why not? Right. <laughs> We've run out of ammo. That's it. That's it. No ammo. No ammo, no win. The only thing we can hope is that the that oh we do have one on fire back here it's lost a uh, motive power lost propulsion the only thing we hope is that the fire spreads through this thing and destroys it now nah, they're putting it out yeah we're gonna lose even though we've still got all of these left oh no it's burning i think we might win this if we get some secondaries oh there you go draw that's still technically in one piece. I think that's going to draw us. Okay. Right. That was interesting. Interesting fight. We're going to see a draw for that. So, we have one of the wasps with no crew, one of them with it's a mobile, and then that thing has got no crew, apparently. Back to combat. Add building. Blood the bamboo. Why not? Back here. And airship. Wasp. One, two, three, four, five, six. 1,272, 1,252. So we are overpointed. 
but not by much. Advance. Well, I did tell them to move, and they proceeded to <clears throat> not proceed. Why you not move? Please, please go. There we go. And I also really wanted to put them on hold fire as well, because we probably already wasted. Yeah, <laughs> we've already wasted nearly half of our of our ammo, and we've done pretty much no damage. So we're going to go on to aimed fire here. And here we go. Coming in. This front one has taken a considerable amount of damage. Just not entirely sure what we can do here. I guess that's going to be a lot. Gonna run out of ammo again. Okay, I think we have a route of ammo once more. Hmm, maybe back to the drawing board. Okay, I think we can probably assume that the longevity is a little bit less than desired, mainly because of the ammo. So let's go to Airship Editor, open the design, we'll check the wasp out, and I think I want to double up on the amount of the amount of ammo that this thing has. So I'm just going to move things around and do basically that. And is that sufficient? It probably is sufficient. It has brought it up to 227. If we weren't if we weren't to have that, it would be 212. So I think the extra ammo is fine. We don't have a fire point, which is a bit concerning, if I'm honest. I'm also going to try to move, move things around too. That's a bit more of an interesting design. Having a little bit of a gap in there. No, we'll have it like that. That's fine. So, we'll save that. Save. Only a little bit increase in cost. Uh, specifically, how much is it? 15. I think that's reasonable. Back up to combat then. And to another airship this time. And we're going to put in the... Oh, what's that? The Imperator 5. That is interesting. It's got flak, a turret, and forward-facing guns. We also got the Vindicator. Oh, let's put the Vindicator in there. And I'll be honest, this is simply so we can get as many of these on as possible. So over to airship, over to the... Oh, that's the owl. Uh, we might have an owl in a fight, actually. We'll do a full rocket thing. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to have to stack them like this, to be honest, because we are running out of space desperately this is a problem with the service ceiling and the lack of it i guess you could say more accurately and it's still going <laughs> it's still going uh 5221 versus 5301 start the fight and they <laughs> i mean yeah you get the idea of what we're what we're experiencing here uh let's go for maybe Maybe move forward. Um, I think. I, I think certainly yes. Moving forward would be, would be, would be to our advantage. So we put them on aim fire. We're heading towards it. I know you can't see much because of the screen shake, but it just adds all to the effect of <laughs> these things here. And there's our volley. That is an unbelievable amount of fire. I'm telling these to pull back because when this thing falls out the sky, and it inevitably will, I'm just going to pause it a second. Um, it's going to crush some of these. So, as you can see, the bigger the thing, the harder it falls. So, it's taken damage across its entire hull. It's absolutely peppered. It's not lost a huge amount, he says, as there's a huge chunk of ship completely missing from the centre. But. I think a neck, another volley will see this thing gone. I think it's going to fall out the sky soon. Oh, it's lost one of its suspendium chambers. How are we for ammo? We are on... Still on aim fire, and we're just under half. So, yeah. that's this. These would have run out of ammo by now. But we've just brought enough along to deal with what we need to deal with. In a manner which we prefer, which is uh, Rocket Spam. Okay, Vic and Terry, combat. Let's try a night fight, because it'll look cool. And, I mean, 
put the orc in. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what. What might be quite good. Mm, land ship. The elk. Again, I'm putting it near the back because it has more accuracy. So, airship. The wasp. And, oh, I was going to just sort of click and drag, but sadly you can't. I am just going to put these in a line. Now, one may argue that it would be more efficient to build a bigger ship for these. Just a bigger ship and bring the same amount of rockets. And there may be some merit in that. There's something quite satisfying about having loads of little ships and seeing them all just spam the shots away. So this is 3,859 ourselves versus the enemy of 3,998. Start the fight and then move. I should point out that again this is probably a biased fight. I mean as it, well a lot of them are. Uh, look, that's the, the initial volleywet spreads out is brilliant. Um, the thing is that you know, what 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 might defeat these? Well, obviously boarding. Um, admittedly, though, the boarding may have some problems because of the sheer amount we have. They can only board so many. Um, another problem they may have is against things like the... Probably the goldfinch. Because that's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of Gatling guns. So they could suffer some damage that way. So I'm just sitting here at the front. I'm not moving any further. You can see two of them have totally <laughs> have their front removed. The good thing is that once you are in a position like this, you can just start ramming them. Uh, and just putting them in the way of this thing. They've lost they've lost all um, all propulsion. You can just ram them into stuff. The thing is, the rockets are highly explosive. So, you know, you have to be wary of that. There's them shots out. In the back there. Yep. And there's the volley again. See, we're doing similar to what we saw previously. We're doing a lot of damage on the hull, but nothing is being removed. That's that's one of the advantages with this with this vessel, with the elk. So it's armor. Not much gets through. You need a lot of piercing to really start doing stuff. But once because of the dispersion of the weapons and because of the damage across the hull once one starts to go inevitably the rest follow because they've all suffered about the same amount of damage across the board the problem is as you can see we are losing ammo again and what is more apparent is one two three four five six minimum have lost their weapons So yeah, a lot of weapons down. 18 rockets plus. And we are still taking the same amount of fire back. And we're out of ammo. Not much we can really do then other than ram it. I mean, this is the Yelk. This is probably one of the most... Probably one of the most... Uh, effective things that we've made. No, we won't be able to defeat it. That's a shame. <laughs> and you can see, damage across the board. The people inside are like, oh yeah, glad that... Oh, no, <laughs> flip on barrage. Yeah, they're probably glad that that's over. All right, well, that was a loss, but it uh, wasn't too bad. One more fight. Combat. Airship. One of ours. Going to go with the... The Greenfinch. Because it's got a lot of Gatling guns. Airship, Wasp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1,589 versus 1,557, start the fight and rockets away, you can see it is basically just trying to fly above us, so I'm going to go the other way and then uh, turn around, obviously we'll put this on aimed fire as well, looks like it has lost one of its suspendium tanks on the back there, and now it is absolutely peppering us. So rapid fire because it will, it will mince these things because these have got no ammo, uh, no armor. Remember, <laughs> no, well, at least no armor to speak of. In fact, no, it is no armor. They have wooden walls, and that's it. Oh, but we've just won. We've taken out both of its end caps. It's got no way to, no way to fly now. 
So we got lucky a bit, but you saw the damage that it's caused. That's completely minced. That's minced. These, well, this one was going through the mincer as well. And these ones have all taken a little bit of damage. Got lucky. We got lucky. Okay, limited fights for both the owl and... Uh, I guess not so much, but you're still a bit limited in fighting for the for the wasp. But good little designs. Happy with those. If you have any suggestions for any changes that you think could be made to the owl. The owl was someone I just wanted to put together and try on a different, different chassis. It was the same, uh, same chassis, different weapons. But the, uh, the wasp certainly was something I wanted to try and have been wanting to give her a go for a long time mainly because of the whole like make a really small ship a tiny ship a wee ship and uh, send that off and that's what we did and it seems to work if you have any suggestions for alterations changes modifications etc by all means let me know in the comments and if you have any suggestions for any new designs that you would like to see then by all means pop them in there as well hope you have enjoyed this video of airships conquer the skies <laughs> we'll leave it there for now as always hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings